Welcome, welcome everybody. This is Marcel, Ernie Racing News. We got Tucker Carlson doing a speech in Scottsdale, Arizona. Let's take a look. Our current president is both tragically senile and laughably weak. Liberals won't admit it, but everyone knows it's true. Things haven't always been this way. There was a time when the presidency was a symbol of toughness and perseverance, a position that a feeble man like Joe Biden could never even think about holding. Unlike Biden, President Theodore Roosevelt embodied what Americans' highest office is supposed to represent. Stories of his profound grit, Roosevelt was once shot during the middle of a speech and insisted on finishing his address, for example, have become legendary. The International Order of Theodore Roosevelt is a vessel for maintaining our 26th president's legacy. And Tucker Carlson recently keynoted that group's annual conference telling stories you'd have to hear to believe. So without further ado, further ado I'll give you guys a little tip of the iceberg. Of, and you can go to and check it out for yourself, the whole thing on Tucker's website. TCN, Tucker Carlson Network. Now, it tells you a lot about who you are. And I have to say, like Teddy Roosevelt, I've not lived half as an exciting life as Teddy Roosevelt, who's literally, as you, everyone famously knows, in 1912, while giving a campaign speech, running for president, a campaign he never should have run. Even a man as great as Teddy Roosevelt was subject to hubris. Um, but he's giving a speech, and a man called John Schronk walked up and shot him point blank with a 38. The gun I carry, I think a lot of the 38, I think it's a pretty robust cartridge. Uh, but somehow his glasses case stopped it. And uh, he spent the rest of his life, he lived another seven years uh, with that 38 slug in his flesh and gave the speech anyway after being shot. Imagine the kind of man it would take to give a speech, a 90 minute speech while bleeding with a 38 slug in you. And I think, could I do that? No. <laughs> no. I would, I would collapse. I've been shot. He was running on the bull moose ticket that year, and instead of saying, I've been shot, he looked calmly at the crowd and said, it's going to take a lot more than that to kill a bull moose. Which, I can tell you, as someone who lives in Maine, is true. Hard to kill a bull moose with a 38. Um, but still so impressive. But one of the things about his life that has resonated in mine is that when things get bad, you retreat to the wilderness. 